lakes up here can be quite moody. All fucking altitude lakes are moody. They're on, they're off, they're on, they're off. Sometimes you swear there's no fucking fish in them. Other times it's just like they're fucking full of fish. About four hours ago, I was standing on that other bank over there, which is about, I don't know, ten metres from here. And obviously you can't cross it because it's too deep. It takes four hours to follow all the edges around and come back. You wouldn't believe it. Kind of unbelievable. Four hours and one fish. <laughs> We're nailing them. <laughs> so Paul's not back yet, so myself and here are heading out to look for him. And we brought the rod just in case. You can hear about it, could be running. So I've got this little, little flashing lantern. And I'm going to stick it to the tip of my rod. And hopefully it'll pick me up. And we can get the evening rise in together. Oh, let's see a fish. There he is, there's Paul. The illusion of fire is better than nothing. Yep, I'm getting warmer already. It's like drinking tea out of an empty cup. I'm just about to go to bed after the first day fishing in the Highlands. Uh, Highlands backcountry, I mean. And my tent is frozen. Ice. Uh, we're gonna go, we've had a bit of a change of plan, or but we're gonna go on a mission today. We're gonna go to two remote lakes that we have to walk into. About three k's over the mountain. About three kilometers over the mountain. Which shouldn't take too long, but you, you know, you can never really tell here. Yeah, that way. And, and one of the other problems is every kilometer we do probably takes like two kilometers because you're always walking around and stuff. And we're limited to time as well. We've only we've got to be back here for five, and it's about ten o'clock now or something. Right. I'm gonna hide the key in the secret place. There. So if you see this car and our stuff in the back, you'll know that the key is under that <laughs> under that tire. <laughs> Are oh, you in that fucking net? I'm not one bit sorry for you. <laughs> That's a good fish.
fish. Smallest fish. Oh, he's lost it. My fish of Tasmania so far. Under the water, we get another shot. Beautiful fish. Oh. Yeah, that was worth doing. <laughs> we came up and nailed the dry. I mean, it was just moving around. And uh, fucking perfect. Took the middle one. What was my middle one? Oh, the beetle. We have a beetle here. Lovely fish, just under five. Well, that was a good day fishing that we had there. Some interesting fishing anyway, a few nice fish. And now we have an hour, an hour's walk back. So we're just making our way out and uh, there's a little tiny bit of water here. But well, we're just on our way out and we've got 45 minutes to be back. It takes us about an hour to get back. But we just can't help stopping because this little stream, we're following a small stream down and it keeps throwing up these incredible pools that are like lakes. So, a mate of mine, Zoran, he knows what, a musician, yep. he, he reckons that God doesn't subtract the days off your life that you spend fishing. Well, we're going to live forever. <laughs> For a fucking long time, aren't we? <laughs> well, that was a fantastic trip. We'll return with our backpacks and our tents and explore more of these waters. And maybe next time we'll find that elusive trophy.